This video trailer will show you how to install a free control panel known as Cyber Panel. This control panel is getting popular because it's free. This video is a part of my playlist. Go ahead and watch my other videos if you have not watched them. But today we'll be installing our control panel known as Cyber Panel. Before you install your Cyber Panel or your control panel, it's important to secure your Linux server first. If not, your cyber panel will get hacked. So I have the video in the description how to secure your Linux server. Watch that video first before watching this video. I assume you've secured your Linux server and now it's safe to install your control panel. In that video, I also taught you how to log into your server for the first time. So I want to log into our server, open your putty or your SSH, sorry, your terminal. And I'm using Ubuntu. So I'm going to SSH. And I'm going to enter my non-root user. Remember in my security video, I taught you how to create a non-root user. Stop using the root as a default user. Otherwise, your server will get hacked. Evil doers will try brute forcing your server. So in my security video, I taught you how to change your user to a custom user, right? So I've entered my custom user at my IP. I bought a new server because of that. My IP is different from the one you saw in my security video. I'm using the default port 22 which looks something like this port 22 you can also ignore this but if you are using a custom port which i recommend you to do and in the security video i taught you how to use a custom port something like port 75 because people know the default port to be 22 so if you leave it as 22 so in order to strengthen the security of your server is good to use a custom port so enter whichever custom port you have but for me I did not configure that in with this server this new server but in your case you have to create a custom port for your server that's why the video is there go ahead and watch that video first so I'm going to leave it as this and I'll lock in to my server now it's asking me to enter a password which is not a recommended way of connecting to a server it's important you enable locking via ssh keys in that video i also taught you how to enable or generate ssh keys so you want to lock in with ssh keys and not password but with this new server i do not enable locking via ssh so i'm logging in with my password but in your case you should log in with ssh keys without a password so I enter or hit enter and i'm now logged in to my server as you can see my server is from contable now to install cyber panel go back to your browser and type cyber panel installation command Click on this first link. We are going to the official documentation. It's good to always visit that documentation to get the latest installation guide. Now that we are here, you have to read this requirement, server requirement. So your server must be a fresh installation of Ubuntu 20.04 Ubuntu 22.04 Cloud Linux 7 Cloud Linux 8 Alma Linux 8 and Alma Linux 9 so these are the operating systems that are currently compatible with cyber, cyber panel your server must also be of one gig 
RAM or higher, 10 gig disk space or above. Scroll down, and this is the installation part of Cyber Panel. First, we have to connect to your server via, via SSH, which is what I taught you in my security video. We logged into our server for the first time. So right now I'm locked into my server and that's what step one is telling us. Next, we have to update our system. So let's copy for Ubuntu users. Copy this one. Go back to your server. Let me just clear my screen. So go back to terminal. I'm going to paste this command. Hit enter and let's enter our password our root password for our server i've entered my password hit enter and wait patiently because your server is updating so when you order your server for the first time it's important to update your server to get the latest packages so i'll pause this video because it's going to take a while for our server to update. All right, so our update is complete. Next, let's visit the installation documentation. Scroll down and we are done with step one and step two. We're going to copy this command, okay? So just copy this command and this is our installation script that we want to run in order to install cyber panel so go back and we're going to paste that command here and run now most of the time cyber panel would want you to run to be a root user before hit enter and let's wait and our installation has failed this is because cyber panel wants us to run as a root user or they want us to switch to root so let's go back and pick this command okay so if for some reason you are not able to lock in as root you can use this command so just use this command with your non-root user all right so i'm going to use that command paste this command and this will just switch you to a root hit enter wait patiently good now enter one so one is one will install cyber panel so enter one after you enter one hit enter now, I want to install Cyber Panel with Open Lightspeed and not Lightspeed Enterprise. Lightspeed Enterprise is a paid service. So, enter one. So, enter one here. Enter. Now, full installation. Hit enter. Okay. So, enter will accept the default. Enter. please type capital N or hit enter so N N no so N means no do you want to set up remote MySQL we don't want this okay so no press enter key to continue with latest version so enter do you want to install memcache yes so enter enter again enter so this watch doc okay memcache and then redis so just wait patiently for the installation to complete now this will take up to 20 to 30 minutes for cyber panel to complete all right
I'll pause this video and resume when it's done. All right, welcome back to our installation guide. Our installation is now complete. Scroll back to the top. And this is your this is the time it took for your cyber panel. This is the minutes cyber panel took to complete. Now let's copy your login information. Go and paste it somewhere safe because you'll be needing this to log in to cyber panel as the admin right copy this url which you can also get it from here so just copy it so i'm going to open this url open and we should see cyber panel login page now when you're logging in for the first time because we don't have ssl certificate installed just click on help me understand and click on proceed so this is a normal thing okay and we are taken to cyber panels login page for the first time now i'm going to enter our login details so password is admin just take sorry user is admin enter that here password is here paste that and click on login and we are redirecting to our cyber panel for the first time we are locked in now let's go back to the terminal scroll down and there's a notice here question would you like to restart your server um it's important to restart your server okay so let's say yes small yes and hit enter okay but if you do not start it now no problem but make sure you restart it later all right so i'm going to restart my server and everything will disconnect and then we have to connect back okay in my next video i'll be showing you how to connect cyber panel to cloud flare and that will enable us have a domain for our website instead of this ip address from there we'll also be installing ssl for our site okay so remember to watch those videos thank you for watching this episode hoping to see you in my next video bye bye